Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video we will learn what is the concept of momentum in stochastic gradient descent. So why is momentum important? Tomorrow when you implement a deep learning model you will have to put the momentum parameter. You should know what is momentum mathematically and what should be the optimal value of momentum so that your model works good. That is what we will learn in this video. Let's start with the concept of something known as smoothing. So what is smoothing? Have you heard of a model called ARIMA or autoregression model or moving average model? Let me tell you from the base what is smoothing. So let us say these are the stock prices of your favorite stock at time T1, T2, T3 and T4. Okay. So what are the prices? 10, 20, 30, 32. If we plot this in an XY plane, right? So let us say this is 10, this is 20, this is 30. If we plot this, it will be 10 will come here, 20 will come here, 30 will go here. So the curve will be more up and down like this. Okay. We want to smoothen the curve. We want to remove the ups and downs of the curve. Okay. One simple way to do that is we just take the moving average. So if you know what is moving average, well and good. If you don't know, the moving average is nothing but a average of previous two numbers so if i say moving average of window 2 right moving average of window 2 means at t2 the moving average will be average of t1 plus t2 20 plus 10 by 2 15 at t3 moving average will be 30 plus 20 by 2 that is 25 at t4 moving average will be 32 plus 30 by 2 that is 31 now the, this is the actual values and these are the smoothened values. If we plot 15, 25 and 31, you will see that 15, 25 and 31, the curve is not moving that fast like it was moving before. I mean to say ups and downs. This process is called smoothing the curve. Okay. Is there only one way to smooth the curve? Of course not. So what we have done here is known as moving average way of smoothing the curve. There is another way of smoothing the curve known as exponential smoothing. Okay, exponential smoothing. So what we do in exponential smoothing is we just take forecasted value, forecasted value at time t will be beta which is a constant multiplied by forecasted value at time t minus 1 plus 1 minus beta actual value at time t. Now if you see this equation carefully guys, forecasted value. So what was forecasted value in my previous example? The smoothened values. Okay. What, it, what this equation is saying is at any time t the forecasted value will be beta times previous forecast value plus 1 minus beta time actual value at that time okay when you expand this so this is again a forecasted value you can explain this with the same equation when you explain expand this what you will observe is recent observations are getting more weight so what i mean by that let us say there are four time intervals t1 t2 t3 t4 if we consider the moving average of window 3 for example in plane moving average, what we will do at 4 is, we will take moving average T1, T2, T3. But if we apply exponential smoothing, one weight will be assigned to all these numbers before calculating average. And that weight will be assigned in such a way that nearest value will be given highest weight and this will be given weight less than that and this will be given weight less than that. If you expand this equation by putting these values, you will observe the same pattern here as well. So recent observations are given more weight and observations which are far are given less weight. But all of the observations will be considered. Having said that, this is the basic of what we know as ARIMA model, A-R-I-M-A model. Okay. I will explain ARIMA in my time series playlist. For now, this makes the base of momentum in stochastic gradient descent. So what was the problem if you remember from my last video, if we try to optimize this function here, then in case of mini batch stochastic gradient descent, 
the weight will not move like this the weight is not moving like this the weight is moving like this 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 so this curve is a zigzag curve the first curve i was explaining in the explanation what is our intention we want this curve to be little smoother how do we do that how do we typically optimize our weight in neural network we just say w new is equal to w old minus eta times w sorry loss w old right this is how we typically optimize our weight in gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent what happens when momentum comes in picture when momentum comes in picture we optimize our weight like this w new is equal to w old minus eta into v of dw not directly you know derivative of w with respect to old there is an eta that is learning parameter and then v dw what is this v dw this is important and this is the crux of the entire momentum v dw is nothing but beta times v dw beta times v dw plus 1 minus beta times dw dw is nothing but derivative with respect to loss with respect to the old uh, weight okay so what is happening here is we are optimizing the weight using this function in this function we are not directly taking the derivative as we used to take in normal what we are taking here is a term called vdw vdw stands for with what velocity with what velocity you want to increase or decrease your weight now this is all these things combined together come and fit into the equation that gives more weight to the recent uh, derivatives and less weight to the derivatives which were for the w old using this this term is calculated and this beta that you see here is called as the momentum coefficient or you can call it the momentum term of this equation and this is what you have to choose when you fit a deep learning model in sgd using momentum in python now if you are getting worried about all these mathematics no need to get worried you just have to understand the concept that in sgd with momentum we try to smoothen the zigzag path of the weight optimization how we do that in the background exponential moving average works and as a programmer if we are not writing things from scratch we just have to choose this beta value the optimal value of beta in research paper and all reputed place is 0.9 so you should set your beta as 0.9 and try to run sgd with momentum it will work it will you know outperform so many other algorithms so i hope you understood this if you have any doubts write me in comment i'll see you all in the next video with another interesting topic till then stay safe and take care